Hi friends, so this video shows how to install Minikube on Ubuntu. We can install Minikube with VirtualBox and KVM. So in this video, I am going to install Minikube with VirtualBox. So first we need to install VirtualBox. So we can install VirtualBox using this command apt install so to apt install VirtualBox. Okay, installation completed. So let me check. So we can see VirtualBox here. Let me open it. See, it's working. So let me close. So I'm going to create a, create a directory. Then go to the directory. So I'm going to download kubectl binary. So this is the client to communicate with uh, minikube cluster so let me download cube ctl okay download completed so let me make it executable So we need to run this command chmod plus x kubectl okay it's ready if you want you can copy this kubectl binary to bin directory so i'm not going to do that let me skip that so next i am going to download minikube so this is a url you can find this URL in the description. So let me download uh, Minikube. Okay, done. So we need to make this Minikube binary executable. Just run the same chmod plug x command. You can see the size of these two binaries. So we can also copy this Minikube to USR local bin directory if you want so I'm not going to do that so let me check the version of minikube so when you run you have to run like this dot slash minikube version so if you don't want to use this dot slash then you have to copy this binary to USR uh, local bin directory so this here you can see the version of minikube let me check the default configuration you can run minikube config view so it's it's saying it's not able to find cube ctl so basically then this is required we need to copy these two binaries to usr local bin so let me do that I'm going to copy mini cube CTL and mini cube to user local bin. Then we can run mini cube config view. So, so it's saying there is a newer version of minikube available 1.9.2 so let me download that so i'm going to download uh, the latest version 1.9.2 okay done So let me make it executable then move to usr local bin so now it's showing the version 1.9.2 now let me try config view so there is no custom configuration that is why it's not showing 
so you can run minikube help to get the help so let me start minikube so i'm going to run this command minikube start hyphen hyphen vm driver virtual box let me start it is downloading yes so it's 174 mb you can see it's using virtual box driver so now it's downloading current is 1.18 So you can see that minikube start failed failed to start virtual box vm basically we need to enable vtx so here i am using vmware so let me go to flyer manage virtual machine settings then processor so here you can see it's disabled so i need to enable it and reboot the uh, virtual uh, vmware vm So in VMware, set the VM, then go to settings, processors, enable it, then click OK, then start the VM. So let me start mini cube start again. it's downloading Kubernetes preload the preloaded Kubernetes image so it's creating virtual box VM so so you can see that now minikube is up and running I did couple of fix so I faced couple of issues when I run mini cube start to fix that I had to update kubectl so I updated kubectl to 1.5.1 so this is a command I used to download kubectl 1.5.1 then change make it executable then copy to your sub local bin after that I executed mini cube start hyphen vn drive virtual box then it's worked So now let me run this command. We try. So here you can see one message kubectl 1.5.1 which may be incompatible with Kubernetes 1.18.0 So So that's why I, uh, so it's suggesting to run this command So that's what I executed Let's see what happened in Okay, I think now it's working. So we do a hyphen version. If you want to find the IP of mini mini cube cluster. We can run this command mini cube IP. So let me check the virtual box what created there. You can see one VM 
has spawned here mini cube and it's running you can see the configuration of that view so actually this mini cube install all this uh, Kubernetes cluster on one VM. So if you want to stop it, you can run Minikube stop. You can see stopping Minikube virtual box VM. Let me check. See it's power off. So when you do that, it again will come up. See now it's running. 